Hello, fifth graders. We are starting a brand new module. We are going to be module on module 10, lesson one, interpret a fraction as division. Um, so please get this module 10, lesson one out in front of you. It starts on page 239, interpret a fraction as division. You can see there's these boxes um, with some rocks in them on the cover. So you have this in front of you so that way we can do this um, together. So you're going to be interpreting infra fractions as representing division of whole numbers. So we have an elementary school and they receive five boxes of minerals for its earth science class classes. The six science teachers at the school share the boxes equally for their classes. What fraction of a box will each teacher receive? So notice how there are six teachers, but only five boxes. So we need to figure out how much of a box each teacher will get. So our whole are the five boxes, right? Or are a box. Let's just do, we'll just do one box at a time. And we're going to take each box and each box is going to have to be broken up into six pieces for the six teachers. So so if we have, this is for one box, and there are five of these boxes, okay? Each teacher gets one-sixth of one box, but there are five boxes. So we're going to be multiplying the five boxes by one sixth of a box to see how much of a box each teacher will receive. Because if this is one box broken up into six pieces, each teacher gets a sixth. And out of the five boxes, each teacher gets a sixth. So five times one sixth equals five sixths. Remember, we multiply the whole number by the numerator. And we keep the denominator because this is essentially 5 over 1 times 1 over 6, which equals 5, 6. So each teacher will receive 5 sixths of a So again, what we had to do was we have to think, I don't have enough boxes to give a whole box to each teacher. So I'm going to have to take each of the boxes, break it up by the six teachers. And then because I have five of these, I'm going to multiply five times the one six that each teacher is going to get. So that means that each teacher will get five six of all the boxes or total. So five six of a box total. So they'll get one six of this box, one six of this box, one six of this, this, and this. So essentially it's one six plus one six plus one six plus one six plus one six, right, for each box. Because there are five of them. All right. Number one. Five students in the science club prepare four circuit boards for a small satellite called a CubeSat. If they share the work equally, how many circuit boards does each student prepare? So again, we have five students, so we have more students than our circuit boards that are being prepared. So if we have, here's our four circuit boards. And there are how many students? There are five students. So each student is going to do one part of each of these boards. So there are four boards and they're each going to do one part, right? Each student. So four times one fifth is going to equal 
four fifths because this is just like we're saying four over one times one over five four fifths so we're gonna I'm doing the work up here so four times one fifth equals four fifths okay so each student will come will, will prepare four fifths of a circuit board number two two scientists develop a new substance in a laboratory they make a total of five milliliters if the substance is shared equally how many milliliters does each substance each scientist get so you have two scientists and they're making five milliliters <clears throat> so we would have each one is creating five right so we've got one two three four five and then if they split each milliliter in half right so we've got scientist one scientist two scientist one two one two one two one two so they each do half of each milliliter right so we would have five times they're each doing one half which is the same as five halves now when we have the numerator bigger than the denominator we need to find a mixed number so 5 divided by 2 we would put a 2 2 times 2 is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 so each of them get 2 and 1 half milliliters completed so I'm gonna cross off this and I'm gonna re re explain this again really quickly so we had 5 milliliters that they made a total of so here are our milliliters, five of them. Each scientist will develop half of it. Okay? So each scientist will develop half of the five, each of the five. Five times one half is five halves. And when we divide this, we get two and one half milliliters. So the number of people doing the work for this one would be on the bottom because there are more things that they're breaking up into the pieces, okay? So two and one half milliliters each one will do, each one will complete. Okay, number one, Let me zoom us in just a touch. Three runners in a relay race share the eight mile distance equally. How many miles does each runner travel? So we have three runners and they're sharing the eight mile distance. So this one is eight over three, right? They're sharing it equally. So if we had eight, Pretend that's our miles, right? And we're sharing it equally. By each mile is shared by the three runners. We would have each runner is going to do, we're gonna have one third times eight, which is the same as eight over three, right? I took my 8 over 3. Now, when I divide this out, we would have 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So we would have 2 and 
two thirds, right? Your remainder goes over that, over your the number you're dividing into, mile. So each runner will run two and two thirds miles. do this independently remember you can go ahead and do it and pause the video and do it or you can stay right with me all right five friends share six small bags of popcorn if they share the popcorn equally how many bags of popcorn does each friend receive well we would have six over five is how much they're going to receive and if I divide that five into six, one, one times five is five, five, six minus five is one, one remainder one, but this becomes my fraction, right? So one whole and one fifth bag of popcorn. Twelve friends shovel snow from eight identical driveways. If they share the work evenly, what part of a driveway does each friend shovel? So we have less driveways than there are friends. So for this one, the 8 is our numerator and the 12 is our denominator because it would be 8 driveways are divided by the 12 friends. So they would each shovel 8 twelfths of a driveway. And because our numerator is smaller than our denominator, we don't do any division to find a, a mixed number. Okay, we're going to skip number four and move on to number five. An audio engineer divides nine feet of cable into two sections to connect a pair of sneakers. Speakers. <laughs> How long is each section of cable? So we've got nine feet and it's broken up into two sections, right? So we've got nine over two. We need to divide nine by two. We need to divide nine into, in half. Basically, we're taking nine and splitting it in half. So we would have four times two is eight and with a remainder of one. So that equals four and one half feet is what each section of cable is. Because you've got the cable, you're splitting it in half. So the nine feet split in half, nine divided by two is four and one half feet. Two groups of people sit at different tables in a restaurant. The first group of six people orders three small pizzas. The second group of eight people orders four small pizzas. The people at each table share their pizzas equally. How does the amount of pizza per person at each table compare? Well, our first group, we've got six people, and they've got three small pizzas. So number one is six over two, right? Or three. Three, three, three. Sorry, six over three. Six over three. No. Ah! Oh, my goodness. You're going to think I'm crazy. We have three pizzas divided by six people sorry three pizzas divided by six people and we know that three six is the same as one half so they're each going to get half of a small pizza number two we have eight people sharing four small pizzas so we have four pizzas divided by eight people that equals one half of a pizza so they each get the same amount of pizza. Sorry, I messed that one up. So each person at both the tables gets the same amount of pizza because they ordered small pieces, pizzas. So just think of this as 3 divided by 6. 
4 divided by 8, just like a 9 divided by 2. Your numerator, the line means divided by, and then your denominator, okay? So that's the best way to figure out where which piece, which part is the numerator and which part is the denominator. So I was trying to get the homework on here, but for some reason it is giving me a hard time. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to have you, oops. Um, complete one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, you will complete the whole worksheet front and back, pick numbers one through eleven for module 10.1. All right, I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.